Convert Weber fuel by first removing the igniter, control knobs, and control panel. Once the control valves, manifold, and support brackets are exposed, we'll unscrew the manifold brackets. This allows us to slide the manifold back for access to the orifices by lifting these front and back manifold supports out of the frame. Unscrew each of the three gas valve orifices. and install the three new pre-drilled orifices. Orifices properly prepared for liquid propane or natural gas must be drilled for the proper fuel, gas pressure, and British Thermal Units rating of this particular barbecue model by a trained professional. Next, we'll install the pre-selected gas regulator. Here, we're installing a natural gas regulator from the underside of the gas manifold using gas adapters attached to the original Weber connection. Converting to propane would mean removing the natural gas regulator and installing a liquid propane regulator. Reinstall the manifold tabs, brackets, and igniters. Convert the Weber side burner by exchanging the orifice which is below the grate, heat shield, and burner. This orifice is often different from the main valve orifices. Once the gas regulator and orifices have been exchanged, the burner carburetor must be adjusted while we see the flames and then we can replace the control panel.